twelfth thing I learned in selling that helped me be successful in stand-up comedy was the idea of keep it tight. When I was selling cookware and doing home demonstrations, I had salespeople working in the office that would sometimes be in the home three hours or longer. Now, after three hours of listening to a demonstration, even though we fed them and fed them really good food, people's butts got tired. And when people's People get tired butts. They can't think about anything else. They just want to go home. Now, the same thing is true in stand-up comedy. I've been on some shows that had a bunch of comics scheduled. Comics ran the light. The host hosting the show wanted to do extra time. And so the, the show ran an hour and a half into, into two hours. And the, even though the prime spot is typically later in the night because the comics have had a chance to get everybody else, get the audience warmed up, Oftentimes, people dreaded those shows because people had a tired butt. And when people have tired butts, they can't think about anything else. They just want to go home. So the lesson I learned was keep it tight. Don't have any extraneous words in your presentation. In fact, I'm reminded, being reminded of that lesson as I do this video series, keep it tight. People have a short attention span and they want the relevant information so they can make a good decision. So keep it tight. If you're doing comedy, you need to shorten the time, the, the number of words you use to the payoff, the laugh. If you're doing a presentation, don't let the night wander on and then, and then you're stuck at the end of the night and people go, you know what, we, we, only to we told the babysitter it'd be a couple hours, so we're going home and I'm sorry you're not getting the sale. So keep your presentation short to the point, as quick as possible, keep it high energy. And if you're doing comedy, same thing. Don't drone on and on. I know you're a storyteller and your stories are the best, but so many people have unnecessary detail in their story. So if you keep it tight, keep the energy high, don't let your audience get a tired butt. And if you do that, I'm confident that you'll be a success.